It's morning here. It's very overcast, so um, kind of a dull morning. Quick check-in. Um, I'm going to be um, finalizing the artwork today with the artist. He says he can do it for me today. Um, hey, Dr. Dev Wax, and also uh, Eddie and other folks from the vinyl community that have uh, recently friended me on Facebook. Thank you. Thanks for... for um, for friending me. Uh, I haven't been over there too much lately, but I'll be back. Um, yeah, Dr. Deadwax, I'm going to be discussing with my representative from the uh, pressing plant about test pressings. They shorted me on my first order, and uh, they kind of owe me. And so if I can get some kind of um, guarantee, you know, or we're going to discuss it, you know, <clears throat> the issue with the last one. If, if I can get some kind of word out of them regarding um, my next record. I'm going to forego the test pressing because of cost. I'm not going to do it if I can't. No, I don't want to sacrifice <clears throat> quality. Of course I don't want to do that. Mark, come on. No, you don't know me, so you don't know that. Yeah, I want the best, man. But I also got to be realistic. It's like, you know, fuck, you know. I hate how uh, money just fucks everything up. You know, it's like, I want to make this record, but God damn it, I got to keep the cost down so I can make a profit so I can do it again, you know. Not only make a profit to do it again, but make a profit so I can have some money to live on, you know what I'm saying? So I hate, to, I hate that that's part of the the, uh, the equation of why I'm discussing whether or not to get a test pressing with this next record, but that's it. I won't be sacrificing quality because of money, if at all possible. I'll tell you that because that ain't how I want to roll. I'm just just facing the sad fact of the matter. It's just that, you know, e economics runs everything and economics are a shambles right now, worldwide, leastways, that's the way it seems. So anyway, a um, lot of activity, not watching much. I don't know why I feel like saying that. I just want to let people know that I care about you. You know what I'm saying? Won't be watching much today. Um, several things going on today. Meeting with the artist to finalize my artwork. I've got my studio cranked back up, working on some some new uh, some new stuff. Finally, I can't force it, you know. It just rises, you know. But um, some new sound ideas are um, are uh, have started, and uh, you know I like the creative process, but it it also frustrates me because sometimes it's very slow. I like it when it's fast. I like it when I get a strong idea. Don't always. And right now, I'm not having strong ideas. I'm just having a strong urge to uh, get get some work started so I've got some work started and that's what I'll be doing today um, in response to Anders in Stock Stockholm who has uh, offered me some sweet records as an incentive to come to Sweden well I really do want to come to Sweden and the way that I'm looking at it is like this my first, and I'm looking at it as hopefully a first, my first tour with Rick Agnew is being organized as we speak. We're starting with a Midwest jaunt um, for a number of reasons. But um, Rick and I have already talked about if things go well, the next thing we want to do is go to, to Europe and then to Japan. And so because of my financial situation, uh, realistically, I have to kind of wait and see what happens with that stuff. Um, you know, I do have the money to buy a ticket to, to Europe, but that would not be very prudent of me to spend that money like that right now. But I'll tell you what, I very much want to come as soon as it can happen, it will. Not only to meet you, Anders, but to meet uh, Jonas. I'd love to just pop up over to the uh, to Holland, the Netherlands, and meet Stefan73 and Jen. And uh, there's more besides you guys. There's more folks over there I'd love to meet. Um, I really want to come to England. I didn't make it there last time. So um, I'm sincerely ready to take you up on uh, your offer. And um, the most realistic way is hopefully to come over there through music. Again, I honestly say because I cannot gauge what reality is. Well, I can from where I'm sitting and also combined with the, the media report. You know, according to media, things are just on the on the edge of total economic disaster. 
And so the idea of just looking forward to a bright future of economic uh, endeavors, you know, seems tenuous right now. So mostly I'm keeping my thoughts and aspirations pretty close to home, trying to stay focused on each moment as it as it occurs. Trying to savor the simple things in life right now. Since um, the greed heads, as well as us, have fucked everything up by focusing too much on gain and profit and everything is in just a big spoiled bag of potatoes, it seems like right now. Because of greed, mainly it seems. <coughs> Last thing I'll say before I go is I didn't play any record yesterday. Um, I spent a little time uh, dubbing video and then I cranked up my studio. What I listened to last night um, while relaxing is a couple things. I listened to Snooze. Don't know anything about this band. There are some elements of drum and bass here, but it's also got that chill out thing going on too. Really good. Don't know a thing about who these people are. Snooze. That sounded real good last night. And then before that, while I was, um, I uh, bought a laptop from my nephew, Karim. That's the business he's in. And he got me a nice one for used. It's in, it's, um, in very good shape, very cheap. And I need it. You know, my other laptop died while I was in Sioux City, basically. I do business. I record with it. You know what laptops are for. And while I was, um, getting it set up, I, w I listened to, um, Must Must by Nasrat Fateh Ali Khan. Just beautiful. What a voice. What a voice. You know, his music and this music, Kowali, is all the songs are in praise of God. Whatever your um, interpretation of that word God means, one thing I know for sure is this is beautiful music. Nasrat Fateh Ali Khan. No, haven't bought any records this week. Trying not to buy. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I'm out of room again. My original plan when I was working was to expand Ikea out in the other room. Can't do it now. Really can't afford it now. So I've got stacks in here again from <clears throat> just my recent shopping. But um, I, can't, I can't shop this week. I, I can't. So... Just hope everyone is well. Uh, Joel, Joel, welcome back. I see that you have started a new channel. I'll get over there when I can. Have a good one, everyone.